My water, hang on. <laughs> he lost his water. Are you pregnant? You giving birth? Keats, we're talking about the fact that Andre is uh, well noted for wearing purple, and of course, well noted for stating that uh, purple is the color of royalty. That's why he plays it. I think there's other reasons involved. I think Andre's awesome. I think he's awesome. I also think he likes the guys. I also think he likes Grimace. You just wish he likes the guys. Oh yes, I do. Yeah. But anyways, let's get you back to the match. You think he likes the guys because you want him to like you? <laughs> They're doing it. Okay. Andre versus Sanford. Andre playing the Yadaman one. Uh, Yadaman two of Patsu Man's. Uh, Sanford Kelly going back to. It needs the help. Sanford Kelly going back to what he needed, which was of course Patsu, the character that he originally played with uh, throughout the tournament. Now you're going to see some great things about Yatterman 2. Uh, all her setups uh, are very, very similar to Yatterman 1, but the thing about her is she does have a reduced stamina, but she does have all the traps you need to be a really annoying character. Most notably is already yeah. out here, which is the robot. The robot will randomly attack. Is he putting needs. the robot out like that? Oh the my god! The robot destroys Batsu right off the bat. Empire's the in there. <laughs> All right. Now, the other notable super that, again, just makes her such a trappy character is right here. Now, you have two options from that super. You can let it ride and let it do its bounce sway. You can manipulate it just a little bit. And the other thing you can do is if you're somehow in a situation where right. you need to charge it up, you can actually hold it and you can actually charge it to a huge, huge ball. So it'll, it only like, go, uh, it'll only go half Andre, Andre bodied Sanford, huh? Yeah. Andre bodied Sanford. Sanford in was innovating already when he was playing through the brackets. Like, he was doing some air throw resets that were unbelievably cool. He was playing uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. He was yes. basically utilizing specifics that he normally is familiar with in Marvel. So right. From Not Andre to air throw, he's very similar. Yeah. Very simple. And Sanford wasn't a fan of this game for the Japanese version, but now he's starting to really dig it. Which everyone does when they finally get their hands on it and see how awesome it is and how much you can do with your characters. Keats, uh, can you explain, uh, people are wondering, uh, a lot of people are claiming that uh, Yatterman 2 is overpowered, but I know that she's got an even amount of Yatterman 2's shortcomings. health is tiny. I'll do the math on it when I get home on Tuesday or Wednesday, but you don't have to hit her very many times to win. She does seem really good, and she probably is really good, as is the case with most low health characters. They have the low health for a reason in these types of games. Like, Karis was number two in the last version, and he had the lowest health in the game. So I think she has less than him, just seeing it. A lot of people wondering, what are the changes to Karis? What makes him tick now? Well, uh, the way they dealt with infinites in this game wasn't to get rid of the infinites, per se. It was to make the problem moves in the infinite push you back farther especially when you're in the corner. So you, you can still do a couple reps of most of the infinites, but you can't really carry very long. So your characters still feel powerful, but you don't you know, get the ability to juggle someone until they're dead or until they get Mega Crash. Andre using that yellow robot like crazy now. So anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about because I'm really tired. That's all right. We're talking a little bit about uh, Yada Man 2, but... Uh can we talk a little bit about Ipatsu Man? Right, I don't, right. don't think Ipatsu Man's going to be coming out. Oh, yes. Ipatsu Man was upper mid in the last one, and he got some buffs. I think he could be up there in this one. He's really good. I mean, he's still very heavy on the launch combos. What most people should consider is you got so many people out there that they still love Marvel, but Marvel is still considered as a dead game, tip of the age. This is the closest you're going to get to another Marvel game until Capcom right. and their wonderful wizards. And you know what else is nice? Marvel has 56 characters, and you can only pick six of them. This has 26 characters, and every single one is viable. Every single one. Uh, even Gold Light. Even Gold Light can win the right matchups. Sam, right. Sam for Kelly go. looking really salty after go get that him, match. Keats. Go get him, Keats. All right, Keats is now defending his honor in the uh, grand final. Sanford. 